Hey guys, what is going on? It's Black's Game here. Ooh. I was going to say ready to give you some more Minecraft, but technically I am, but technically I'm not. So basically, I'm going to give you some Minecraft gameplay while I read out a bit of uh, explicit content from a famous book everybody knows. And I've seen some people do this, that's what it's pretty good idea. So, I hope you enjoy the video. If you're nice, just give it a like and remember to subscribe and tell your friends. Oh, and a like is very much appreciated, and thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, here you go, guys. Christian is running both his hands through his hair and pacing up and down his study. Two hands, that's double exasperation. His usual concrete control seems to have slipped a notch. I don't understand why he didn't tell me. He castigates me. The subject never came up. I'm not in the habit of revealing my sexual status to everyone I meet. I mean, we hardly know each other. I'm staring at my hands while I'm feeling guilty. Why is he so mad? I pick up at him. Well, you know, a lot more about me now, he snaps. His mouth pressed in a hard line. I knew we were inexperienced. But a virgin? He says a really dirty word. Hell, Anna, I just showed you, he groans. May God forgive me. Have you ever been kissed apart from by me? Of course I have. I try my best to look affronted. Okay, maybe twice. And a nice man hasn't switched you off your feet. I just don't understand. You're 21, nearly 22. You're beautiful. He runs his hand through his, through his hair again. Beautiful. I flush with pleasure. Christian Grey thinks I'm beautiful. I knock my fingers together, staring at them hard, trying to conceal my goofy grin. Perhaps he's nearsighted. My subconscious has reared his sonambulant head. Where was she when I needed her? And you're seriously discussing what I want to do when you have no experience? His brows knit together. Have you avoided sex? Tell me, please. I shrug. No one's really, you know, come up to scratch. Only only you. And you turn out to be some kind of monster. And why are you so angry with me? I whisper. I'm not angry with you. I'm angry with myself. I just assumed. He sighs. He regards me shrewdly and then shakes his head. Do you want to go? He asks. It's j his voice gentle. No, unless you want me to go, I murmur. Oh no, I, I don't want to leave. Of course not. I like having you here. He frowns and he says and then glances at his watch. It's late. He turns to look at me. You're biting my your lip. His voice is husky. He's eyeing me speculatively. Sorry. I don't apologise. It's just why I want to bite it too hard. I gasp. How can he say things like that to me and, and not expect me to be offended? Come. Hey, what? We're going to rectify the situation right now. What do you mean? What situation? Your situation, Anna. I'm going to make love to you now. Oh. The floor is falling away in a situation. I'm holding my breath. That's what you want to, I mean. I don't want to push my luck. I thought you didn't make love. I thought you fucked hard. I saw... <laughs> I swallow. My mouth suddenly dry. He gives me a wicked grin and the effects will travel me way down there. I can make an exception. Or maybe combine the two. We'll see. I really want to make love to you. Please, come to bed with me. I want our arrangement to work. But you really need to have some idea of what you're getting yourself into. We can start your training tonight. With the basics. This doesn't mean I have to come over your hearts and flowers. It's a means to an end. But what I want doesn't mean... <laughs> And I want, and hopefully you do too. His grey gaze is intense. I flush. Uh, oh my, wishes do come true. But I haven't done all the things you require from your list of rules. My voice is all breathy, hesitant. Forget about the rules. Forget about those details for tonight. I want you. I've wanted you since you fell into my office. And I know you want me. You wouldn't be sitting here calmly discussing punishment and hard limits if you didn't. Please, Anna, spend the night with me. He holds out his hands and his eyes bright, fervent. Excited, I put my hand in his. He pulls me up into his arms so I can feel the length of his body against mine. This swift action takes me by surprise. He runs his fingers around the nape of my neck, winds my tongue with her around his wrist, and gently pulls me in so I'm forced to look up at him. He gazes down at me. You are one brave woman, he whispers. I am in awe of you. His words are like some kind of incendiary device in my blood veins. He leans down and kisses my lips gently, and he sucks up my lower lip. I want to bite his lip, he murmurs against my mouth, <laughs> and carefully he tugs at it with his teeth. <laughs> I moan, and he smiles, please Anna, let me make love to you. Yes, I whisper, because that's why I'm here, his smile is trunk, 
and then he releases me and takes my hand and leads me through the apartment. His bedroom is vast, the ceiling height, windows are look up on a lit up, high rise Seattle. The walls are white and the furnishing are pale blue. The enormous bed is ultra modern, made of rough grey wood like driftwood, four posts but no canopy. On the wall about the stunning painting, what to see. I'm quaking like a leaf. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Finally, after all this time, I'm going to do it with none other than Christian Grey. My breath is shallow, and I can't make my eyes off him. He removes his watch and places it on top of a chest of drawers that matches the bed, and removes his shirt, placing it on a chair. He's dressed in a white linen shirt and jeans. He's stunningly beautifully. His dark copper hair is a mess. His shirt hanging out. His grey eyes bold and dazzling. He steps out of his combat shoes and reaches down and takes myself into the Christian Grey's feet. Wow, what is it about naked feet? Turning, he gazes uh, gazes at me, his expression soft. I assume you're not on the pill. Oh, shit, I don't think so. He opens the top drawer of the list and reads a packet of condoms. He gazes at me. Be prepared, do you want the punishment? I, I don't mind, I whisper. I thought you didn't let anyone sleep in your bed. Who says we're going to sleep for you, mate? Oh, holy hell. He strolls slowly towards me, confident, sexy, eyes blazing, and my heart begins to pound. My blood's pumping around my body, desire thick and hot pools in my thigh. He stands in front of me, staring down into my eyes. He's so freaky not. Let's get this jag off, shall we, he says, and takes hold of the labels and gently slides my jacket off my shoulders. He places it on the chair. Do you have any idea how much I want you, Anna Steele? He whispers. My breath itches, and I cannot take my eyes off it. He reaches up and gently runs his fingers down my cheek to my chin. Do you have any idea what I'm going to do to you? He has <laughs> caress my chin. The muscles inside the deepest, darkest part of me clench in the most delicious fashion. The pain is so sweet and sharp, I want to close my eyes, but I'm hidden tight by his grey eyes staring fervently into mine. He lean down and kiss me. His lips are demanding, firm and slow, molding mine. He starts unbuttoning my shirt while he places feather-like kisses across my jaw, my chin, and across my mouth. Slowly he peels it off me and lets it fall to the floor. He stands back and kisses me. I'm in a pale blue lacy perfect fit bra. Thanks, Evans. Oh, Anna, he says, you have most beautiful skin. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I cannot read one more of this. Oh, wait. I just, just found my favourite line. His hand flexes over my backside and squeezes gently. He holds me against his hips, and I feel his erection. <laughs> he loudly pushes me in. Oh, you know what? I can't read any more of this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. But this has been a Blackest Game. It has been a very long video, and I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to leave a like and subscribe, and say your friends. Thank you, and goodbye.